not only, that's only half the story. The single woman must battle the instinct of her heart and her body. Clearly there aren't enough men to go around. And many single women wrestle with the longing to be married. Loneliness is real. But somewhere along the line, women ought to catch on that marriage does not automatically equal happiness. We have to stop letting society and the interpretation of male thinking tell us who we are, what we are, when we are, where we are, when to get there, how to get there, and then what to do after we get there. <laughs> we have a right to be a woman or mother. Not only do we have a right, we have an obligation to be one. Women are also exploited emotionally about their looks. Some women go through painful anxieties over their appearance. And that's not all bad. Every woman ought to look as good as she can. Yes, Looking our best makes us stand taller and gives us more confidence. But the most important thing of all for a woman is to do is to keep her soul clean. Which brings us to the point of the goodness of God. God's will for us is never second best. His will for us is always first best. The first step to real life is always hooked up with our relationship with our God. We must believe if we fail to believe in the goodness and love of God, women's strange things can happen. For resentment, making mountains out of molehill. We can throw our failures on someone else. We also can be aware of our doubts. But we need to be more aware of God. Amen. We need to like what we are doing. And given a creative God, we can find our way in life. Mm -hmm. If we live with God in our hearts, we will find an outlet in life. Mm -hmm. A way to use our energy, our love, our gifts, and our mind. And all of this will bring complete fulfillment. Think of all the people during Christ's life here who looked at him. Yet all of his 18 busy years, between the time he was 12 and 30, were compressed into one simple sentence. Jesus increased in wisdom and growth and in favor with God and man. And you can find that in Luke 2, 52. Jesus increased in wisdom intellectually, growth physically, favor with God spiritually, favor with man socially. If God the Father thought it was important for his son to increase in each of these areas, important enough to have it recorded in his written word, who are we to feel ourselves exempt from growth in any one of these areas? In times like these, nations may differ on boundaries, ships or planes. But mothers, we can also grow in these areas. Let us live in faith as Moses' mother did. Believing that God will have his angels keep watch over us. Amen. That God will, as he promised, guide our every step. Protect us from harm. Enable us to 
fight life's battles. Keep our courage up to wait, to watch, and to pray. Mothers, let us use the wisdom and the gifts and love God gives to us and in return give it to others. There are many gifts we can give. The spiritual gift of God. <coughs> Life is God's gift to you. You can in return give the gift of life to us. Peace is a gift to you. It is a gift you can share. God has given you the gift of joy. Share it. You have been given the gift of wisdom. Share it. You have been given the gift of courage. Share it. You have been given the gift of divine approval. Share it. You can have these gifts every day of the week. The gift of happiness, the gift of your faith, the gift of your understanding, the gift of your prayers, the gift of your power to bless, the gift of the Christ love, and the gift of the Christ reborn in you, and the gift of the mother. I think we all agree that mother is the best love word anywhere. You can always hear that word anywhere you go. She was made that the ideal of creation might be continued through her. She can retain her position that the links in the chain of life as begun by Mother Eve would continue to grow. So as long as God wills, and there is a world, there will be mothers. Yes. This is the day set aside for our special tribute to her. A day in which all mankind may be a part of. For she should be today's queen in all of the regions where humanity dwells. Every race depends largely upon its mothers. No one knows the worth of these mothers. God provides her with an intuition that enables her to see the shadow of coming events. She has an invaluable sense of feeling good. She possesses uncanny strength, for she tries what others think impossible. As she walks, she prays for the day ahead to protect her little ones from sickness, danger, and even death. And as she puts the light out at night, she might hum softly a tune of confidence for our daily well spent. Lord, please make us the sort of women with the same kind of courage our mothers knew. Endow us so that we will be able to help the lost or the weak or the poor each and every day. And in conclusion, let me say to all mothers, I believe that every woman has been a mother at one time or another. Whether she has birthed a child or not. And then let me say this. Any woman in the world can be a woman. But it takes a lot of women to be a mother. Amen. May God bless all mothers and children. Pledge to keep the smile on mother's face and the light in her eyes. Make life sweet for her 
that her latter days will be filled with sweet memories. And then, please, dear God, let me keep my vows straight. Grow in grace with my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For you see, Lord, after becoming a born-again Christian and serving my Lord and Savior,